page and today I am going to be talking about my August TBR. Can't believe it's already August. You know I have just as an ambitious TBR as I did last time. If you saw my other video I somehow managed to read 13 books in a month. I only have... I only have nine planned. I mean so much easier. I hope you caught the sarcasm. <laughs> um so I, for part of it, I actually decided to do that read a chapter tag because I have, um, over at, oh, I forgot her name, but, um, Bedtime Bur Bookworm, her channel, she kind of talks about how she has her Goodreads list, like, separated into the different categories of books she wanted to read, and I started doing that because I actually really thought it was a really awesome idea. So I have it just kind of separated into three um, but mostly, too, I just have the want to read, which are books I'm interested in, but it's kind of like in a passing interest. And then there's my um, TBR Definitely shelf, which are books that I'm very interested in and I want to keep track of and make sure I'm reading. Well, I haven't been really good about actually reading books off my TBR. <laughs> I just find random books and I start reading them. And I keep putting these books on my TBR and they never fall off. So I have decided to, I picked the top five rated books on my TBR definitely list and I'm gonna read a chapter of them and decide which two I'm aiming for two I want to add to my TBR. That's not to say I can't change my mind halfway through the month um, or read more than that um, but these are just the books that really strike me as interesting right this minute um, because I don't actually own all of them I got them all from the library um, which I have on my phone so I won't be able to kind of film reading the chapters because I can't film and read it on the same device. So there is that. But I'm going to go over the books I have added to it first before doing that. So one of the books I'd like to read is Fence by C.S. Pacat. Pacat? C.S. Pacat. Um, I believe it's a graphic novel about fencing but the characters are queer. That's all I really know about it. I know Adriana over at Perpetual Pages really enjoys it. They had it at my library so I figured I'd give it a shot. The next one I have to read is Bonk by Mary Roach. That is actually also for my book club. Um, we're kind of reading two books this month. We're reading Fun Home um, by Alison Bechdel which I already read and this one is kind of um, an addition to that. We'll see how I feel about it. I don't really know anything about it besides that we're reading it so. I'll let you know. The next book I, um, one of the other books I'd like to read for this month is Fogtown by Anderson Gabrich. I really need to start looking up the title, um, the authors. Um, it's kind of, I heard it's, yeah, I'll just read like the first thing. It's 1953 and Frank Grizel is a man from the old school, a tough, hard talking, hard drinking, womanizing private dick who's seen it all and done it all twice. Um, I really like graphic novels and I haven't really been reading them as much as I used to and I really like mysteries so I thought this might be a fun read. The next one I'm well I'm hoping to finish um, this month is The Squire's Tale by Gerald Morris. Uh, one of my co-workers at one of my jobs recommended this to me. I'm actually really enjoying it. I didn't realize it was set in the Arthur Arthurian age like with Merlin and stuff. But it's about this uh, these adventures of this squire who is squire to one of the knights of the round table. Um, it gives me the feeling of, like, it's pretty humorous, but the humor reminds me of what I would expect the humor to be in Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Now, don't shoot me, um, but I haven't actually seen it, so I can't say for sure, but it feels like a kind of muted version of that. I could be wrong, but so far it's really good. The other book I hope to get to this month is Theft of Swords. This was on my TBR last month for Tom Topple. That obviously didn't happen because here it is again. Um, I, it might be a buddy read with Shea Geeks Out. I will link her channel down below. It might not be this month. Um, we do want to buddy read it so that'll be exciting because I've never done a buddy read. Um, but I just don't really know when that's going to happen. So that might happen this month. That might happen next month. We'll see. I also am listening to, so I'm hoping to finish it this month, um, Bloody Acquisitions. It is the third book in the Fred the Vampire series. And if you've watched my other video, you kind of know a bit about it. 
it's just a really entertaining um, paranormal book. Um, kind of told in the short stories style, at least I assume it is, because um, I know a lot of people get kind of irritated because Fred kind of repeats some of the information given, but I take them kind of as epi episodes, um, so I don't really take, them, take it as a whole novel, I take it more as a collection of short stories that happen to be about the same character. And I just want to continue it, it's just really funny and fluffy and action-y, and so it's kind of what I'm apparently really looking for. I do also hope to finish Smoke Gets In Your Eyes by Caitlin Doty. I think this is the third month it's been on my TBR, which is a little frustrating, um, but I had an, oh, sorry, I had a library copy and my renewals ran out, so I had to return it. Um, I think it might be a book that I do better with on audiobook, and I could be wrong um, on that, but I'm hoping to maybe find the audiobook of it and give that a try. Um, I am really enjoying it. It's just the kind of non-fiction style um, just isn't working as a written word for me right now. I also want to give The Seven Hu Husbands of Evelyn Hugo ugh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid a shot. Um, it's been kind of like the booktube favorite lately. I've heard nothing but good things from everyone I've watched who has read it. Big booktuber, small booktuber, doesn't really seem to matter. Um, so I thought I'd give that a try. I have requested the audiobook from my library, so we'll see if it comes in this month. And if not, I'll just give it a shot next month. Now to do the dry chapter tag. I will be back once I've read them. I am back. I realized before I left, well, after I left, that I didn't tell you what five I was going to do the try chapter tag. Try a chapter tag for. So the first one is Book Thief. The second one is March by John Lewis. It's a graphic novel kind of about um, the civil rights movement. There we go. The Com Cons a Conspiracy of Kings by Megan Wayland Turner. This is the fourth book in The Queen's Thief. I read the first three in just like last year sometime and I just never got around to reading the second one. Um, the Left Hand of God by Paul Hoffman and The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin. Now I'm not going to remove any of these from my TBR because they are books I still want to read, um, but I just wanted to read the first chapter to see the first chapter to see which one I was most in the mood for. The two I ended up going with, I might try reading this month, is The Left Hand of God and A Conspiracy of Kings. I've just been really interested to get back into um, fantasy and those two kind of fit that the best. Um, I'm really still interested in The Killing Moon, but I just feel like it's going to take too much brain power right now for me to focus on because it feels very dense and intricate. Not to say that the other ones aren't in their own way, but... And um, A Conspiracy of Kings, I really enjoyed the first three books in The Queen's Thief. Um, the first one being The Thief. I think that was my favorite, but they're all just so interesting and rereading that first chapter just kind of dragged me right back into that world and how much I enjoyed reading it. And The Left Hand of God is like a, it feels like, I, I didn't really read the back of these, so I don't really remember, because um, I just wanted to go in them kind of without knowing what they were about. Um, the Left Hand of God seems to be about, it seems like it might be a, um, it's kind of about a teenage boy, at least in the first chapter, who is at this it's called a sanctuary, but it feels like a training ground for something. Um, his masters are called Lord Redeemers, and um, they have to... It just seems like a really dark and gritty fantasy. Um, pretty grim, and I guess I'm in the mood for that. So those I'm adding onto my TBR, my TBR, making it nine for now. We'll see how many I get to. And until the next video, ta-ta for now.